Hi. Hi. Ah, do you need no more? One bag. One bag. Bare mig at tage kaffe, og så øh, eventuelt... Ui! Det er altså fugtigt. Det er min i hvert fald. Ja, jeg tror, jeg er Sort of deer. Come on. Hey. Oh. They got there. The liver. <laughs> it's a lion. Musen. Musen. Oh, it's going to be hell. Musen. Skal du have kaffe eller morsen? <laughs> Skal vi have noget af den kan mælk i? Ja, hvor er så inde af hende? Det er noget. Du lige havde det. Det er helt mål. Jeg ved ikke, hvordan der er brugt der. Hvor er det sejt? I'm sitting here with the sun and we have had some great moments out here, made the chair, um, made fire and now we are about to uh, nap some flint. This is sun, by the way. Don Hello. Don <laughs> Don <Fungon. laughs> uh, I have uh, met Cern because I commented on one of his videos because uh, he's a really, really talented bushcrafter and he does a lot of crazy stuff and uh, build a lot of uh, beautiful things and he was the guy who actually uh, inspired me to, to make that chair and now he has taught me to do it. And when I first saw his video I, I didn't uh, think about that I would get a chance to actually be with that guy in the forest making a chair together. Uh, so this is awesome. If you are uh, into bushcraft and stuff, which you probably are since you are looking this video, I think you should go and check out his channel because he really do some good stuff. I'll leave a link to, uh, uh, he's called Don Van Gon, and that's a longer story, I don't want to talk about that right now. But uh, Don Van Gon is his channel name and, and uh, go and look um, and visit his channel, it's, it's awesome. The whole day we have been walking around looking at the skies that has been like grey and heavy and you know when it's, I don't know what the English word is, but when it's so damp and you just, ah, 
it's just we have been sweating and uh, without the shoes here just to get a little cool off and now finally what we have been I don't know if you can say waiting for but we just thought talked about oh if it could just start raining and some of this heat could go away it would be awesome and now I think the rain is coming at least we can hear it on the top um, so the plan now is to uh, get things together and maybe do some corrections on the on the little top here and then uh, hopefully we can do some flint napping in here under this top while it's raining outside if we are extremely lucky and that's I think we are both ho both hoping for that <clears throat> is to get some kind of thunder or like that would be awesome imagine sitting here in the forest with a fire and have the thunder going on and I want to see if I can record the sounds and I have the see I have the 600 millimeter there so and there are red deers here so if uh, we are lucky I might come a good chance for photographing such a beauty after the rain but uh, yeah Sorry for not being fully dressed, but I just, it, suddenly it just came down from the sky with heavy rain and there was a one single, what do you say, thunder like, and um, I didn't have the time to get my rain jacket and find all that in the backpack. So I took off my t-shirt to avoid that is getting soaked. So that is basically under the little skin. And uh, hopefully when this heavy rain stops, uh, I can go to the fire and drive myself and get a clean, you know, a, a, a dry t-shirt on at least. The trousers are soaked, but uh, hopefully we can get a good fire going and I can be dry again. But I just couldn't resist running out here, shelter under this uh, tree and then get some of this beautiful rain because it's so awesome. Like going from sun and nice weather and then to this, it's just such a contrast. So uh, yeah. Clearing up again, the birds are starting to sing and uh, I promise you I will get fully dressed in just a second. I just need to dry a little first. Sorry for uh, having to look at this. Oh, he has kept the fire going. Awesome. Oh, and look at this. Hey, what have you got? Moosen. What is that? Oh, I'm just... Uh, made some water from the top. I tapped some water. Awesome. Uh, oh, says, that's smart. And I got wet just going around the tree. So, yeah. yeah, it was crazy. What's up? What's in the dinner? Oh, it's uh, some smoked bacon. Ooh. I'm trying to make a... Um, oh, it's in there. It, um, the beast. Porcupine. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to sit right there, have a cozy time, looking at the dinner while we are both flint napping and that's just going to be really 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 nice
er bedre, end du har. Ja. Um, Sådan her. Okay. Det, det, som jeg tænker på, øh, det, der gør den her god og mm-hmm. arbejde med, mm-hmm. det er, at jeg ja, der er snakket med, at vi har dem, der de, de kan vækst i stedet for ja. konkrete. Ja. Sådan. Yes.
started to rain. I've only been here for like half an hour and uh, I'll have to move further in the forest because um, yeah, everything is getting really wet. <laughs> and there are no deer out there, but uh, yeah. The rain is getting heavier. I better seek shelter <laughs> because everything will get really, really wet and uh, we don't want that right now. I think that was just a little bit of summer rain, but I'm going to wait here in the thick and just have a look, see what happens. The first evening we, were, we came here, I was um, sneaking out with the 600 millimeter just to have a, a look and I was surprised by a deer just out here. And uh, I did have my vlogging camera with me, but uh, I just didn't uh, make anything because it was getting really dark and I just wanted that photo, but just out there. And the deer was standing there and it was like, whoa, whoa, because it, it heard me and then it walked a little away and then it stopped, whoa, whoa, and jumped away. <laughs> And then it like ran and jumped and stopped again. And then it came <laughs> across me again, looked like uh, behind the trees, like so, and walked around me. And I got a few photos that I like. And then it went out to the open field and continued grassing out there. And I realized that there were no uh, danger. <laughs> but uh, I think it was because there were no wind, nothing. So it couldn't smell me and I was just sitting still. So uh, yeah, that was a great experience. And this is the sa place, same place I'm sitting now, here, leaning uh, on the tree. And then hopefully the little deer will come back uh, to have another visit and I can get another photo. But otherwise I'm just going to spend an hour or so here and uh, just to see if I'm lucky. seems quite dead and I think that's because the deer are staying in the woods now um, and then if it's, if it's clearing up they will come out and grass. What I'm going to do now is uh, to go back to camp and um, back to uh, CERN and then I'm going to have some morning coffee hopefully if the fire is not dead. But uh, if I know him well, well he will be up by now and he'll be doing the fire and he'll be doing some knit in some uh, what do I say knifing <laughs> you know when you with a knife knifing no. he'll be doing that or he will be making coffee or something but uh, yeah let's get back Oh, that was a great morning even though I didn't get anything but uh, here back in the camp Son has put on the water for the fire look at this and he was not doing knifing or what it's called in English he is doing some basket weaving
der er man klar på at få information, ikke? Jo. shock um, because I looked over there <coughs> and it looked like looked like a red deer that was lying down with you know the big horn coming up and I took my camera up and like I put, you put this one down and then took the photo and uh, it's kind of embarrassing look what I got Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that was the root from a tree.